Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Miss. How are you, Mayra? I'm fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. I'm happy to have you in class. Que bueno, mire, se conectó temprano. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. I'm going to share with you the PPT with everybody. Hola. Hola, hola. Me escucha, Mayra. Hoy sí, ya. Very good. Today is Tuesday, October 19, 2021. All right. All right. What are you doing? Ahora sí, finalizamos completita, completita la section 5. Así ustedes pueden terminar quizás los últimos puntos que les faltan. Y ya para mañana tener listo su examen, right? Ya terminar. Let me see. We are in class 14, right? Estamos en la clase 14 y vamos a comenzar. Let me see. What do we have over here? We have content that we learned yesterday. Tenemos contenido que aprendíamos ayer, ¿verdad? Entonces hoy lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a hacer un pequeño review a ver si nos acordamos de la pronunciation o si hay algo que podemos mejorar todavía antes de terminar completamente la clase. Se escucha entrecortado. No sé si es mi internet porque aquí quiere llover. Ah, sí. Es probable, Mayra. No se preocupe. Lo que pasa es que sí, es por la lluvia, lo más seguro, porque aquí también está lloviendo. Yes. All right, excellent. Mayra, eh, si me alcanza a escuchar, ¿me hace el favor de leer este vocabulary, please? It's one o'clock. It's noon. It's one of five. It's, la, it's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's quarter to two. Excellent, girl. Very good, Mayra. Now, please give me the honors with this. Ahora, me lee esto, please. Ah, oh, yeah, your audio is not working, right? Don't worry. Let me see. Hi, Rene Giron. Welcome. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Let me see, Alba Torres. How are you, Alba? Hello, teacher. Hi, so how are you? <laughs> okay, everybody, listen. Escuchen, eh, denme un, un segundo, voy a conectar mi cable de internet directo a la computer, porque puede ser que me llegue a fallar la, el internet. Entonces voy a conectar el cable, ¿ok? Give me one second. Right, there you have it. So let me see, René, si nos escucha, René, ¿me puede leer este vocabulary, tanto este como este? It's one o'clock. It's <clears throat> one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one, I guess. It's it's one thirty. Thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. In the morning. Hey, I'm <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> noon, <laughs> noon, noon PM in the afternoon PM in the evening PM at night PM. Midnight a.m. Excellent, sir. Very good. Let's go with Alba Torres. Alba, it's your turn. Ahora usted, Alba, es su turno. Me lee el vocabulary. Ambos. Okay. Um, 
In the morning, a m. Si quiere, comienza con este algo. Ah, ok. It's one o'clock. It's one thirteen. It's one o'clock. Of five, it's five after one. It's one fixing. It's a uh, water after one. It's one fourteen. It's twenty two. Two. It's one fourteen five. It's quarter two. Two. In hey, the, ahora sí con este. In the morning a.m. no p.m. In the afternoon p.m. In the evening p.m. At night p.m. Meaning a.m. Excellent, very really good. I'll repeat after me. Midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Midnight. Eso significa medianoche, right? Thank you, Alba. Let's move on, everybody. Tenemos el practice time que también lo hacíamos con ustedes, pero vamos a ver si nos recordamos cómo pronunciarlo, right? I'm going to start with René. Ok, René, usted me va a decir todo este vocabulary. Recuerde que aquí son tres diferentes en noon y en midnight. Action. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the, in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Excellent, sir. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Alba Torres. Tell me this vocabulary. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. In the evening, it's 10 o'clock. At night, it's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent. Repeat after me, Alba. Midnight. Ah, midnight. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, so midnight. <laughs> excellent. Very good. Let's go with Mayra, please. Give me the honors. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 10 o'clock. It's 20 a.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 a.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 a.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Very good. All right, everybody. Con eso, veo que si estamos bien, no nos hace falta ninguna. Uh, no tenemos any mispronunciation, right? Estamos bien, no tenemos ninguna falta. Ahora, la intonation. ¿Qué decíamos ayer de la intonation? A ver, Mayra, ¿cuándo subimos? ¿Para qué tipo de preguntas yo voy a subir la entonación? Mm. 
Your mic. W -H. W -H. Are you sure? No, it's fair to me. Exactly. It's just no questions. Right? Yes, no questions. Let's see. Y Entonces, Rene, para cuáles yo voy a hacer my calling intonation? Calling intonation where you ask with WH patient. Exactly. Thank you, everybody. Very good. Eso tenganlo en mente. Ya veíamos ayer esta información que para el yes, no question, it will be a rising intonation, right? And for example, is she getting up? Right? For the OLH questions, there is a falling intonation. What's she doing? What's she doing? Right? We got the falling intonation. All right, everybody. Very good. Let's move on. We have a conversation, all right? I'm really hungry. That's the topic of the conversation. Um, Let me see. Yeah, today we're going to see the present continuous. Very good. Okay, so we have Steve and mom, right? Let me give you the pronunciation. Listen carefully, and then it's going to be your turn. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good. I think that we all can relate, right? Todos nos relacionamos con eso. All right, excellent, everybody. Very good. Um, let me see. I'm going to have Alba Torres, you are mom. E Mayra, you are Steve. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing? Are you doing? What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's, it, it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Hmm. Pizza. No, I getting hungry legs it excellent pretty good now let's change roles ahora Mayra va a ser mom Alba you're going to be a Steve a Steve action hi mom what are you doing I cooking why are you cooking now it's two o'clock in the morning well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent, girls. Very good. Bravo. Let's just do not forget. No nos olvidemos de esta palabra. Um, right? I'm cooking. All right? Let me see otro, donde hay otro, I'm, solamente, I'm really hungry, ok, ya no ocupamos el I am, porque esta es la forma contractada, simplemente decimos I'm, I'm really hungry, I'm cooking, I'm talking, All right? let's go with René, René, you are um, Steve, Mayra, you are mom, action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Mayra. Thank you, Renee. 
Now, Renee, you are mom. I'm Steve, all right? Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent, sir. Very good. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. This was your practice time uh, talking about a speaking ability, right? Or oh, the speaking skill. Finally, we got the present continuous double H questions. Ya veían ustedes cómo hacer el present continuous con yes or no questions, ¿verdad? Ya veíamos la forma afirmativa, cómo hacer la negativa y las preguntas yes or no de manera progresiva. Ahora tenemos el present continuous double H questions. Ahora sí, recuerdan ustedes que hace un par de días o semanas o clases, podemos decir, les compartía una serie de palabras que llevaban double H, como, como cuáles, René. ¿Qué palabras tenemos que llevan double H al principio? What, where, why. Exactly. Ex very good. Entonces, ahora vamos a hacer uso de esas palabras de nuevo, right? Tenemos el present continuous. Vale, escuchen. Algunas de estas pictures se van a ver un poquito borrosas, pero let's try to focus, right? Let's see. Los Angeles. 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now, right? Miren, un verbo interesante. Sleep, sleeping. Sleeping, right? En progreso. She's sleeping right now. Mexico City. 6 a.m. What's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up, right? Se está levantando. Get? Getting. Okay. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast, right? Están desayunando. Having, el verbo normal es have, termina con B, E. Yo le voy a poner having porque lo necesito en progression. All right. Vamos a practicar con estas. Solo tenemos tres vocabularies aquí, right? Tenemos una question, una answer. Y tenemos las series. Vamos a comenzar con Mayra, please. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. ¿Y dónde está Victoria, Mayra? Los Angeles, 4 a.m. Excellent, very good. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. So she's getting up. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Right, excellent. Very good, Mina. Very, very good. Let's have Alba Torres, please. Your turn. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. Wax Victoria Dunning. She's serving right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. Wax Marco Dunning. It's 6 a.m. So he's going out. New York City, 7 a.m. What are so and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. All right, excellent, really good. Thank you, Alvita. Let's go with uh, Rene Giron, your turn. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. For M. What's Victor doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City. 6 a.m. 
what Marco doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are, they are having breakfast. Excellent, very good, thank you. Marisol Galdames, hi Marisol. Hello. Hello, welcome back. A ver, Marisol, nos hace el honor de leer, please, las ciudades. De acuerdo a cada ciudad, hay una pregunta y una respuesta. Entonces, con eso estamos platicando, please. Ok. Los Ángeles. 4 a.m. What Victoria doing? She is sleeping with the nose. Mexico City. 6 a.m. What Marco is doing? It is 6 a.m. So she hey, oops. New York City. Seven AM. What else? Do I don't do doing. They are eating breakfast. Excellent. Very good, Marisol. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Ya tenemos este vocabulary. Vamos con otras, all right? Bye. Aquí es donde les digo que se puede ver un poquito borrosa. So, no se preocupen porque si no le alcanzan a ver, van a repetir después de mí. All right? Meanwhile, mientras tanto, ahorita yo les voy a dar la pronunciación. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's getting to work. London, 12 noon. Right? Puede ser 12 p.m. o 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? No, no es así la pronunciación. What are James and Anne doing? Right? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right? Excellent. Now it's your turn, everybody. Ahora vamos a comenzar con Alba Torres. Please tell me the vocabulary. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 now. What are young? And Anne joins. It's known so they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What Andre doing? He is working. All right, excellent. Very good, Elbeta. Let's go with Marisol Galdames, please. Hola, Marisol, ¿nos escucha? Aquí, ¿verdad? She's going to work. What's the thing that she's going to work? 
All right, excellent, Marisol. Thank you. No se preocupen, escuchamos un poquito de interferencia, but don't worry. En lo que cabe, si logramos escucharle el vocabulario. Yo creo que está lloviendo. Sí, I know. <laughs> Yo la comprendo. Así me pasó a mí ayer en la clase, all right? So don't worry. Son cosas que no podemos manejar nosotros. All right, let's go with eh, René, please. Brasilia. <coughs> 9 mn am what's Sally doing she's going to work london 12 noon what are james and annie doing it's noon so they're having lunch moscow 3 p.m uh, What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, excellent, very good. Let's go with Maida, please. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and M doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, excellent, very really good. Thank you, Mayra. Now, everybody, let's work on the last one of this vocabulary, right? Estas son diferentes eh, pictures para que ustedes puedan ver ¿Qué verbos podemos utilizar? ¿Qué más verbos tenemos? ¿Y cómo utilizarlo en la forma progresiva? Recuerden, si no se, eh, si no se nos ha olvidado, que las double H questions son casi como las information questions, right? Son las mismas information questions que las utilizamos para pedir información, right? Y que así se nos haga más fácil a nosotros eh, poder contestar, porque ya no solo decimos yes o no, sino que ya mostramos un poquito de información de lo que estamos manejando. Vamos a ver, Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Bermska doing? Ah, sí, es que es Bangkok. Y es diferente, y es, es bien raro los nombres que ponen ahí. What's Bermska doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo. 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city, right? Vamos a ver qué estamos haciendo ahorita. Eso le voy a dejar a ustedes de práctica, right? Let's see, vamos a comenzar con... Con René, please. Tell me the vocabulary. In Bangkok, 7 p.m. What is Fer Fersak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Um, El Salvador. 1 p.m. Okay. What are you doing? It's he's studying English. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Aquí es cierto, René. Aquí ya, ya, no, ya le puede cambiar el it's, ¿verdad? Mejor pongámosle it's, I'm studying English. It's mm, it's Mm, voy a poner, running. It's, it's raining, <laughs> muy bien. Running, so I am studying. Excellent, really good, sir. Qué bueno, que se les imaginó bien rápido. Excellent, pretty good. Yo ya le estaba diciendo, no, solo diga, I'm studying English. 
All right, very good. Let me tell you something, everybody. Uh, um, ahorita son la una y one thirty, right? Ahorita ya son la una y treinta, so one thirty, estamos bien. Um, let me see. Vamos con Mayra, your turn. Van, Banco, 7 p.m. What? Pero se, pero, uh, casi pero, no pero se, doing. It's eating, eating right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching tele, television. El Salvador, um, one thirty. Mm -hmm. It's one thirty, so I'm taking my English class. All right, excellent, very good. Very good. Um, let's see. Thank you, Mayra. Remember that El Salvador is the country. ¿verdad? Salvador is el país. Y depende de eh, la ciudad en la que nosotros vivamos. Por ejemplo, I live in San Salvador, right? Entonces podemos decir, your city, San Salvador, right? Y de ahí contestan. Perfecto. Han seguido muy bien la guía hasta ahorita del it's y el so am. Um, let's go with Marisol Galdávez. Perdón, el último tengo dudas. Uh -huh. Hola. 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 En el último tiene dudas por la por la acción Ajá. que quiere realizar. Sí, correcto. Puede ser como hizo Mayra, que ella puso la, la hora. Por, por, por ejemplo, ahorita ya no es 1.30, ahorita ya son 1.30 y algo, right? Entonces mm -hmm. usted puede dar la hora y luego solo poner una, una acción. Por ejemplo, I'm having lunch o... I'm eating my hamburger, cualquier otra acción que usted quiera poner. Okay. Action. Patron. 7 p.m. What? Friends are doing. She is eating dinner. Say no. Tokyo, 5 p.m. What is? Hiroshi doing. She's watching television. Your city. The PM. What are you doing? It is one thirty-four. No, ahí sí, me quedé perdida. Vaya, vamos a hacerlo juntas. Tenemos dos options. O podemos poner algo que esté pasando en este momento, como hizo René. It's raining. So I'm having classes. O podemos hacer como hizo Mayra, que puso una hora. It's 1.30, dijo ella. Porque esa hora era cuando ella pasó. Y después usted solo pone la action, right? Entonces usted decide con cuál quiere hacerlo. ¿Quiere hacer los dos con action o quiere hacer uno con hora y el otro con action? Con hora. All right, so it's 1.34. So, um, so, um, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué está haciendo ahorita? Reciendo la clase. All right. I'm um, having class. classes. Having classes. Sí, porque necesita su progression. Entonces, so, I'm having classes. Right, excellent, very good, Marisol, thank you. Eso está muy bien. Cuando ustedes tienen, tengan una duda, háganmela saber, porque así nos ayudamos, right? Yo les ayudo y ustedes siempre avanzan en su conocimiento. Ahora vamos con Mary, Mary Montano. Hello, Mary. Hi, teacher. Right. Eh, Comienza desde Bangkok. Uh -huh. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Perset, Perset, or Perset, Perset doing? He's airing dinner right now. 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. In, in, 
in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. In San Salvador, it's one, one thirty-five p.m. And water, what? Wait, wait, please, one minute. Yeah, sure, but it's okay. Yo escucho que le llaman, don't worry. All right, meanwhile, ahora vamos con Alvita Torres. Let's see, Alba. Banco, 7 p.m. What's Farsan doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Um, La Libertad, 1.35 p.m. Uh, what are you doing? It's 1.36 p.m. So I'm studying. All right, excellent. So I'm studying. Very good. All right. Hey, Alba, you say que se hace viento. Okay, teacher, I'm here. Fuerte viento. Okay. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay. Okay, yeah. Mary. It's raining here. It's raining here. So I'm taking English class. All right, excellent. Very good. Excellent. Nadie me ha dicho que está tomando chocolate a la una y treinta y pico, right? <laughs> Porque en realidad sería bien strange if you do that. Very weird. <laughs> All right, everybody, excellent. Very good, I'm happy for you. Estamos manejando muy bien esa pronunciation y recuerden que ustedes tienen vocabulary. Cuando dice it, ustedes pueden decir, por ejemplo, si donde ustedes están viviendo hace mucho viento, pueden decir it's windy. So I'm, um, I don't know, so I'm sleeping, hipotéticamente hablando, right? Porque sé que ahorita está en su clase, pero si pueden variar de su activity, pueden decir I'm sleeping, I'm taking notes, estoy tomando notas, I'm taking notes. I'm listening my English class, ¿verdad? Tenemos diferentes maneras de expresar eh, casi el mismo contenido, right? Now, let's move on. Guiding a structure, como estamos en el present continuous, pero justamente en las questions tenemos que ver la guiding structure. La voy a leer una vez y luego voy a pedir que uno de ustedes la lea. Double H word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb in ing. Voy a ponerlo aquí in ing plus complement. All right. Vamos a ver. René Giron, can you please read the structure? WH, WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb in ing. Excellent, thank you, right? Copy everybody, copy in esa estructura, please. All right. Let's move on. Guiding examples. Basándonos en esa estructura, tenemos esto, right? What is Marcus eating right now? Number two. What are they doing? Number three. What are Michelle and Jessica drinking? Number four. What Am I saying? Right? Very good. Um, let's see. Let's have let's get started with Mary. Mary, tell me questions number one and number two, please. Number one. What is Marcos airing right now? What are what are they doing? Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Oh, what are they, what are they doing? Uh -huh. What are they doing? Very good. Uh, let's go with Marisol Galdames, number three and four. 
What are Michelle and Jessica drinking? What are them chatting? All right, what? Ah, si sí, tiene que decir ahí dice. What am I? Aquí sería así. Right, what am I? Recuerden que el verb to be va antes. Y qué bueno que Marisol lo pronunció bien justo como estaba, porque así me di cuenta que estaba ese error ahí, right? What am I saying? Así tendría que ser, right? Vamos a ver. Let's move on. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Instructions. Mayra, dame las instructions, please. Instructions. Work individually. Great one W question. In no, present progressive. No, no, no. All right, no. Vamos a crear one, vamos a crear two, porque ustedes ya conocen cómo hacer esto, right? Let's work on this one, please. All right, excellent, very good. <clears throat> I finished, teacher. Excellent, Mary, very good. I'm finished. All right, excellent. Everybody, let's get started. Vamos a comenzar con Mary. Dígame sus dos preguntas, please. Number one. Where are they getting problems? Two. Two. When are you playing in the park? All right, excellent. Very good. Why are they getting problems? And two. What, when are they playing in the park? Very good, Mary. That's correct. Let's go with Rene. What am I watching right now? Question two. <clears throat> what are you doing right now? All right, excellent, very good. Thank you. Mina. What is he reading book? Who are they playing soccer? All right, very good. Who are they playing soccer? Excellent. Very good, thank you. Marisol? Solo tengo una. Tell me. No, no, finalizado. Okay. What I am don't know. También la respuesta. ¿Cómo, cómo? ¿Qué quiere transmitir con esa pregunta? Eh, ¿Qué estoy haciendo ahora? Ah, what am I doing now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Drinking soda. All right. I'm drinking soda. Very good. 
Excelente. Voy a aprender a la, la siguiente. No sé si la hago y la digo al final. Yes, take your time. Hágala tranquila. Eh, piense qué verbo va a utilizar y me la dice después. No worry. Ok. Alba Torres, your turn. What is Marta ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. Uh, what are they playing football? Playing. What are they playing football? Uh, el what no le aplicaría ahí. ¿Cuál otra podríamos utilizar? Mm. Si, si quiere preguntar cuándo. Porque ahí sí podemos utilizar when are they playing football. When. Uh -huh. Exacto. Es que si usted me pone el what, me está diciendo que están jugando fútbol. Right? Entonces no tiene mucho sense. Ya si queremos preguntar when are they playing football o también why are they playing football porque están jugando fútbol. Right? Tenemos okay. un... Excelente letra. Very good. All right, vamos a continuar, pero después igual me, Marisol me va a dar su sentence, ¿ok? Su question. All right, everyone, check this out. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Tenemos vocabulary. Miren, yo sé que te, quizás llega a ser un poquito fácil el uso, el uso de la progression porque no tenemos el vocabulary uh, adecuado, right? Pero aquí tenemos un poquito. Tenemos activities in present progressive. Aquí no están en present progressive las activities. Las tenemos normales, right? Pero nosotros las podemos poner en progressive. Vamos a ver. Tenemos play tennis. Primero la voy a decir yo, después la van a decir ustedes. Play tennis. Ride a bike. Run. Swim. Take a walk. Dance. Drive. Go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television, right? Voy a decirlo de nuevo. Listen carefully. Después les toca a ustedes. Play tennis, ride a bike. No es ride a bike, es ride a bike. Run, swim, take a walk. Aquí recuerden que no pronunciamos la L, solo decimos take a walk. Dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. All right? En esta de go to the movies, el verb es go. Entonces a ese le podemos poner la progresión. Y en take a walk, um, podemos poner eh, la progression en take, porque aquí son dos verbos, right? En, un, en una sola activity. Entonces, podemos en take, podemos aplicarle el, la progresión. Bye, everybody. Ahora les toca a ustedes. Voy a comenzar con René Girón, please. Ahorita solo me van a dar el vocabulary como aparece aquí. Play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movie, shop, read, study, watch television. Excellent, thank you, sir. Vamos con Alba Torres. Play tennis, ride a bike, swim, swing, take a walk, dance, ride, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Right, excellent, thank you. Marisol Galdamen, your turn. Play tennis, ride. 
a fine room is with a, a wet dance, drip, go to the movie, shop, hair, study, web television. All right, thank you, Marisol. ¿Y tiene su question, Marisol? Yes. Okay, tell me. Uh, what are you doing at this time? All right, what are you doing at this time? All right, excellent. That's correct. Si estamos hablando una, de una action en este momento, está correct. Excellent, Marisol. Thank you. Let's go with Mayra. Play tennis, ride a, ba a bike, room, swing, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Excellent, thank you. Solo no se olvide, Mayrita, que aquí no se pronuncia la L. Solo decimos take a walk, right? Let's go with Mary Montano. Play tennis, ride a bike, run, swing, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Excellent. All right, everybody. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora, teacher? Let's see. Take a look at the pictures. Write sentences in present progressive. Pueden crear eh, one, two, three sentences, las que ustedes quieran, right? Pero utilizando estas. Por ejemplo, playing tennis, riding a bike, running, swimming. Recordemos que esta no es swim, esta es swimming, right? Taking a walk, ok? Ya les estoy dando ideas, ustedes solo van a crear sus sentences. Aquí les voy a dejar esta picture. Okay, let's work on that one. Repeat okay. again the instruction, please. Sorry, what? Repeat again the instruction. Ah, take a look at the pictures. Write sentences in present progressive. Ustedes van a echarle un vistazo a las pictures y van a escribir sus sentences utilizando la progression, right? Aquí la tienen. Ah, uh, por ejemplo, les decía como playing tennis. Vale, les voy a decir una. Um, Miss Arevalo is reading a book, right? Así, easy peasy. Hi, teacher. I finish. Excellent. Okay. Tell me yours, Mary. Okay. I am playing tennis. I am playing tennis. Mm -hmm. I am running right now. Uh -huh. I see. am driving. All right. Driving. I'm driving home. Puede yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent, Mary. Very good. And I have a, to go right now. <laughs> I have to go right now. Now, <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay. I finish. 
Excellent, Maida. Tell me. I am shopping a snack in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Very good. You are reading Biblia in English? Bible. Uh, you are reading a Bible. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Maida. Somebody else? Alguien más? Ajá, René. Very excellent, Alvita. Very good. Vi que René también abrió su micrófono, pero no lo escucho. Yes. Ok. Ok, excellent. Vamos a comenzar con usted, René, y luego Alba Torres. Ok. Yes. My sister running. My, oh, my sister is running. I'm studying English right now. My father watch television. Watch television or watching television. My father watching television. Uh, my mother shopping the supermarket. Vaya, si les hizo progresivo, pero le hizo falta el verb to be. My mother is shopping. My brother is shopping. Uh -huh. Y también my, my father is watching television. Uh -huh. Excellent, sir. Very good. Y por último, Albita Torres. Let's see. Thank you, René. Let's go with Albita. Um, I'm is, um, studying in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Sofía is watching television at night. All right, excellent. Thank you, Alba. All right, everybody. It was a pleasure to have you in today's class, all right? Ya con esto finalizamos completamente la platform. Solo nos hace falta como una conversation, pero eso es todo, right? Lo vamos a utilizar mañana. Everybody, nos vemos mañana. Por favor, finalicen la section five. Si tienen una duda, con gusto me escriben y yo les ayudo. All right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher.